Today we are doing a Walmart Challenge golf video. The trick is you can only spend $100 and you can't buy regular golf clubs. The teams in today's video are going to be Matt and Brody versus me and Steven. Zach Radford, pro golfer, can hit a celebrity shot on every single hole if we need him for a mulligan. And let's get right into the Walmart part of the video. Enjoy. Here's the situation. <laughs> We're starting game plan a little bit. We have $100. It's basically three clubs that we really, really need to have. We need to have Something that the ball's gonna go far. Yes. We need a putter. Something that we feel like we can actually get good strokes on and actually make putts. And the third thing is we need some sort of like hybrid iron. And then maybe like a wedge. Oh, what are you thinking over here? What are you thinking over here? Anything, anything, anything? In the spatula, you just like. Do we have to hit the ball? Oh, man. So to save some time, we decided that you can only play the ball in the air, off the tee, everywhere else, you have to hit it off the ground. Those mattresses on the back, you can get some spring there. I don't know. That's, that's, that's gonna catch on the green. So the search is kind of going a little bad right now. We gotta dial it back in here. Okay guys, we're kind of getting onto something here. Little canoe, canoe things here. I think this could be used as the driver and the putter, folks. Look at this guy, right? He's gonna line up here, take a nice practice swing. That looks perfect. That could be good. Okay, I think Matt has found another item. I played tennis back in high school. This is $10. We still have 80 bucks left. So we're thinking right now that the only ball that can actually be thrown up in the air is your drive. This is our driver. Tennis racket, 10 bucks, that's it. Here's what we do. I think we find a ball. Nitro. Yeah, 10 cents Nitro. cheaper. Okay, that's in the bag. Okay. Throw it Nitro. in. Here are the golf gloves. We can't buy those because those are too much golfy. So we might have a, how do you feel with I that? I feel like I could crush something right now with my- A couple items that are pretty good for hitting the ball far. This could potentially be our long putter. We were working on, you know, a stroke without anchoring. No anchoring, obviously illegal. But I mean, that that looks pretty good. Okay, honestly, no. Really could I be like something. This. I kind of like, like that. Um, I got it out of this mystery box. 26 bucks, we might have room for that. Those are too big, that's too much. Leaf blower's probably cheating. Right here, guys, we got a $7 item. This little tiny shovel could be good for around the green. Don't even know why that's there and how and what that is. Look at that rotation to the wrist motion. No, I think we do both and we just see. If we have money left over, we go here. If we don't, we do this. We do that one. Right. Smart idea. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we are in the cat section right now. I have a cat at home. That's for sure a poop scooper. You would, I mean, is that going, I think that's going up in the air. This one, I think we definitely need metal. What's that? That's like whoa, whoa. fiberglass metal. Yeah, I kind of like that right there. It's also a little bigger. Oh, 473, it's half the price. All right, throw it in the cart. I think since this is only 272, we get both of them. Okay. And maybe we can get a little practice range session before we play. <laughs> All right, set it up, see if it, see how we feel about it. Boom, look at this right here. All right, throw, throw the items in, throw the items in. Let's, let's do a test. How do we feel? Is that? Oh, is that our bag? Guys, I think we have our clubs. I think we have our bag. We've got our balls. One thing we didn't buy were tees, but we're gonna find those on the course. All right, this is gonna be extremely confusing and hard to explain, but Steven and I have basically made it into Walmart, and then we went around the whole store, and we picked out all of our items, assuming that we're gonna be able to throw the ball up in the air and hit it out of the air, but then we ran into Brody and Matt, and they told us we couldn't do that, so we're restarting everything. What we are gonna be using from the items we picked out is a T-ball tee right there. That was, that was 10 bucks. And then a baseball bat, which was 25, and that was our biggest investment. That's gonna be our tee shot club. Now we have golf balls as well. Uh, ping pong paddle, we might keep. That was five bucks. These balls were five bucks. That was an extra $10. So we're probably gonna keep the ping pong paddle. We're gonna get rid of the hammer and we're gonna get rid of this. Also, what we did get was a trash bag, which was also $8.90. We have roughly $54 of items right now, and we got some more we gotta pick out. Also, I think we're gonna be going with this, which is like 10 bucks as well. That's like a doggy thrower. But we're gonna be using this as a putter, which is a paddle. How much does this cost? 10 bucks. That gets us to $74. Uh, we're doing this whole budget without tax because I'm the one paying. All right, but here's the deal. We're not only getting one paddle, we're getting two because this actually has some loft to it. And then say we're in the bunker, we might be able to scoop it out of the bunker and hopefully maybe get it on the green. All right, so here is a jackpot right here. $5.88, so that's a crowbar. So we're gonna be using a crowbar. Look at this, guys. We're gonna be able to be in the fairway, bang. Get some loft off of it, love that. One of our latest purchases gets us to over 90 bucks. We're closing on our budget. But this is a pan, and I have a feeling that if we play it right out of the fairway, we could be able to hit it and get some loft on it. So that's all we're gonna get. We're gonna check out now and hope it's under 100 bucks, which I assume it is. 
I honestly haven't really looked into what they got, but they got a good little contraption. Anyway, that's about it for the Walmart section of the video. Yeah. Now onto the course. Today we are out at Lightning Bug Golf Course, which is located in South Nashville and is a very short but also very cool par three course. Now before we get onto the first tee, we need to warm up considering we haven't hit any of these crazy Walmart items. All right, currently editing the video you are watching, and I apologize, but for the very first hole of today's video, all the audio got literally demolished, disintegrated. It, well, it's not good audio. So basically what we're gonna do is explain exactly what clubs Matt and Brody chose and what clubs Steven and I chose. For the first hole, I'm just gonna overlay music to our shots and give you a shot counter. After hole one, the audio will come back and you'll get the normal vlog experience. I apologize for this. We're gonna get it, uh, just get what are you looking at? Exactly. Dude. We're gonna get a grip. We're gonna stay getting a grip. Well, I am. He's not. He's ugly. You're, you're not getting a grip. You are not. Look at your hand. Exactly. The items Matt and Brody are gonna be using today are a tennis racket, a canoe paddle, a broken pooper scooper because Matt broke it on the range, a hammer, two spoons, spatulas, whatever you call them. Yeah. Two gardening shovels, one's plastic, one's metal. Gardening gloves, nitro golf balls, and finally, last but not least, a laundry basket for their bag. The items me and Steven will be using are a plastic canoe paddle, a wooden paddle, a baseball bat, a t-ball tee to hit the golf ball off of with the baseball bat. A tennis ball thrower that you throw to your dog. I don't know what they call it, but that's what we're calling it. A ping pong paddle. Nitro golf balls, of course. Five dollars. Great deal. A crowbar, a pan, and a trash bag for our golf bag. Not a smart play. All right, on to hole one. It's a short par three, roughly 100 yards. Trees left, trees right. You can't miss right, you can't miss left. You basically just have to hit a perfect shot. Also, today we are going to be playing the back tees, which really isn't that far. So before we hit the first tee shot, a very key rule to explain is the fact that if one teammate uses an item, the other teammate cannot use that same item on that same exact shot. Mulligan. We're gonna pull Q it. Ooh. Zach's getting a little we'll tricky that. here. Didn't have great success with the ore. Put up the hill, once again, left to right. Needs a good one here. Oh! oh! Ah! Get out of town, oh. I thought you made I, I, it. That was so smart, he has a pool table in his house. He's got a pretty good line, ping pong paddle holes right there, think about it. Boom. Boom. Nice putt. What a par. So guys, we're walking all the way back here for our second hole. This is gonna be a tight tee shot, Brody. What do you have to say about it? Uh, I'm liking my chance with the tennis racket. I'm not liking Steven's chances with the baseball bat. <laughs> wow. Brody, the disrespect, I feel it. I'm about to crush this baseball bat 400 yards right into the hole, just a creamy dunk. Yeah, well, it's only like 120 yards. Exactly, like 240 yards. So hole eight, which is the second hole of the day, is 121 yards. So this is what we're going through, through this huge gap. Quite honestly, I think we're trying to lay up on this hole. Also, for everyone watching, we are playing match play today. Brody. Okay, so a lot could go wrong in this hole. We really need a good throw here. Honestly, if we get anything in front of the forward tees, I'll be happy. And then I can get aggressive and try to get something up there. But, I mean, you're looking at five yards. Yeah. Left, yes. dead, right, dead. 
You gotta go straight. Chicken noodle dumpling soup. What? Oh no! <laughs> yes! Oh, no! Watch it. We got it. Okay, it's, it's in play. play. Lost it's it. Thank you, Matt. Hey, Brody's going with the glove control. here. They're both going with the glove. I'm going for it. There's no reason. Right. Oh! oh! Wow. I didn't catch it on camera, but it's left side. 10 yards left and short of the green. Yeah, so the miss is, my, I hit it right, so I'm gonna aim left, and hopefully we do something good. Oh. Grounder to first. Garrett, just get the fairway. That's all you gotta do. Uh oh. No. You might need a mulligan. We went a little right there, guys. I think we're gonna call the mulligan from Zach here. Whatever this thing is, dog thrower, I think's probably the play. I just gotta keep it a little left to where Garrett tossed that one. And that's straight right, <laughs> folks. I mean, when I say straight right, that's more right than I've ever seen a ball go. What's the play, fellas? They're giving us a very friendly drop. I don't even think we should be able to come this far up. They told us to go farther up. I don't agree with that. We're dropping here. We're going to have a look at the green from about 40 yards. Not really sure what we're going to hit. He got under it, though. Watched! So we're discussing if this is legal, but I think we're going to go with this and try and, like, scoop it. They said it's legal. We'll see what happens here. Watch that! Oh! Jerry. My God! All right, so, folks, if you haven't seen that, why we're flipping out Garrett over here, what are you doing? That was perfect. How do you feel about that, having the best shot out of that, Steven? I'm not happy, for sure. Can you put it away and change to, like, a, a pan, please? <laughs> Something that doesn't endanger us. Are you going with the same thing here? Yeah. We're struggling. This is shot number four for us, guys. Oh! oh my. Whoa! That was the best shot of the day. Okay. What a shot, dude. Figured it out. Am I just powering through with the sledgehammer? Like, like a Texas wedge? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. That's how yes. good I got that. That was yes. a dirty flop shot. All right, bro, you gotta hit a good shot. Cause that was. Oh, I. I shanked it. That's all right. I we'll shanked take that it. Goal. That's fine. Hey, we're on the green for shot number we're six. We're not on the green. <laughs> we're almost on the green. Okay. We're officially using this club because we don't, we're not doing good. No way! <laughs> All right, guys, we're still out. Shot number six. As you can tell, I'm struggling today. Steven is going with the paddle. I'm going with the ping pong paddle. In other words, we're both going with the paddle. Good line. About 70 feet. Not bad. We're going with the baseball bat, actually. Don't hit my ball. Please don't hit me. That hit a lot of bumps. You guys, we're putting for seven. We can almost just go ahead and concede the hole here. I think, honestly, what do we do in golf, right? You this for three here, folks. Just going a little right. Yeah, uphill though. I did. Oh, go! All right, now Matt's going with the chip. Bull strategy for sure. Don't sleep on it. And just that's the me. backspin there. Whoa. They haven't even hit the putt, and they Zach's going ahead and using the mole again. After hole two, Steve and I are a little frustrated. We're now one down. Luckily, we are playing match play because we'd be getting demolished if we weren't. We need a big choke right now. We got some sort of wheelbarrow ancient. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? We got 107 yards. I think we're just gonna stick with the strategy. Yeah. It's been working. They're gonna have to birdie to beat us. I know. Our confidence level is 150,000%. Yeah. Think about it. Feeling Good. really good right now. Not really sure what's happening. All here. right, we don't have a tee. We did not buy tee. Apparently, and Brody is changing strategy. So, I'm gonna form my own tee. And I'm gonna freaking oar it. Ah! Nice! You missed the whole I might have broken both wrists. So Brody's into the weeds, Matt. Right, here's the thing. We have to hit a good shot. Matt's going with the tennis racket. He hasn't hit the tennis racket really much all day, so. I have a feeling he's gonna shank it into the weeds. And then we're throwing him in the pond. Oh no. Yep, where, right where, into the where? weeds. Wait left. Watch, wait, it, watch, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh boy. Yes, oh that's what we like to see, Steven. That right, was clutch. We're calling in the mole. Why again. do we keep forgetting? For this one, honestly. Axe throw. Yeah. Do not do what you do with the dog okay, toy. So it's just here yep. and then just and pop just, it. So it's just like. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. Keep it straight. Yeah. yeah, you want to keep it straight. If you land it anywhere left of that thing, it's just going to roll. Right. right. Left okay. of the till machine. All right, so they're using their mole again that's after good. both hitting it into the weeds. And trust me, they need it. That's fine. Go. Roll hard, baby. Yes. Use the slope. All right. 
It's in play. It's Thank in you. play. Thank you. Yeah. A little of confusion in Cluster Foshin. Oh my! Whoa! That's what I thought. That's literally launched, folks. All right, so they're solid. Garrett, you've made two balls go backwards. <laughs> Steven looks extremely excited. He's just bending it at this I point. Guess. Guys, you gotta give us some props. This bag has not ripped yet. I mean, we bought the highest of high quality bags. Yeah, we went all in. All right, Brody and Matt, what's the deal, yo? So, here's the issue. Matt's super hit or miss with this thing. All right, so Brody's going first with the shred hammer. Not really sure why he thinks this is a safe play. This just seems like he might take one of his shin bones out and not even think twice about it. All right, now Matt here. Needs to hit a good shot, even though Brody just hit a really good one. Steven, what are you doing? What are we doing? We're doing bad, is what we're doing. We need something good here. What are you hitting? That thing. Okay, great. Hit a good one, we won't need to use our mulligan, but we might need. Oh. Simmer, simmer, Steven, simmer! I mean, it's not bad. Uh, Zach. That's what I'm thinking. I think that's our best play. Um, you know what? No, we're going with the baseball bat. I think he's going to be insane if he does this. I mean, I, don't, I knew it. <sighs> Zach, you should have listened to me. <sighs> Matt's going first with a sledgehammer. He needs to hit a good putt here. Just lag her up there and let me be your assist. Oh, I love it. Off the Simmer, grid. though? Whoa. Simmer? I don't know what. How did I hit that that good? Man? Yeah, I'm, I don't. I Brody here with the oar. Get I might have just did it. I might have just did it! Oh! oh! Yes, that's A! Woo! This might be going in my back. That, I might be put A. We're framing that. All right, we literally have to make this. Is this for par? Yeah. Well, that was our only chance. I think Matt has a needle in his bag that you might be able to pull out. All right, this for the win. Very anticlimactic. Two little bugs on this ball. Not affected. All right, guys, thank you for watching today's video. The winners of today's challenge are Matt and Brody Smith. Yeah. Feels good, dynamic duo. Zach kind of destroyed us with the bat, kind of got them the dub with hitting a straight shot with their mulligan. I'm going to take full responsibility for y'all's win. So, yep, that's fine. And uh, full responsibility for y'all's loss. We took a big old L. I won one challenge in this whole YouTube career, so not feeling too good. Matt still sucks. We're done with today's challenge. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. And as always, Steven. You're gonna well, but you're going to say thank say, you. You say thank you. The fans are watching. It was your math that you didn't do. I appreciate do. the fans. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming watching. the way that way. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.